Man, this map might actually be the best looking map in the game. I mean, honestly, the fall colors and everything look so good. It's just a shame it really doesn't have that many animals, but we are here for the 30-30 hunt uh, that you guys voted for on the community tab pool. Uh, and I think we're going to go ahead and shoot that guy before he gets anywhere. Of course, he's going to turn around as I say that. Now, I actually got to do some zone acquisition because instead of doing this video yesterday like planned, it is today. Oh. Uh, well, we want to try double lung. That is the new stuff. So that is actually soft point bullets double lung. And just to clarify, soft point and the lever action are the ones with more penetration, just so you don't get confused. Uh, the hollow points are the one that have more expansion in those. Anyway, that should have been 100%, I think. It looked like double lung for sure. And that'll be a nice little can check, because he's a decent sized animal. But we're not ruining a gold. And I actually have, well, a couple of goals today. Number one, of course, well, I guess number one and two. Get a diamond, which would be diamond with a 30-30 and diamond fallow. Uh, probably not likely to happen, but we shall see. That is 100% on the quick kill. And that is actually the other couple of goals. I brought the hollow point rounds so that we can basically do some testing, see what the lung shots do, and all that good stuff. So there's that, and there's this zone right here. I know I get fallow at it. It says Red Fox. I even picked up a fallow track of a zone there, and it did not give you the zone. So I think we got to delete it. If there's fallow do there again, we will see if we can shoot four and delete that zone. I'm not sure there's a whole lot we can learn from this, but we can try a heart shot maybe. Nope. Did I get a lung? Doesn't look like it. I got a tree. A whole 10% quick kill and somehow a perfect 500 on a buck. I'm not even sure that was going to penetrate. I think I could have just gotten the heart, but I'm not too sure I should be going for that anything too big. I don't know that I would trust the penetration to get all the way to the heart, but good thing to know at least for a front facing maybe diamond fallow. I should probably go for neck or wait for something better. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, I saw that bigger rack. I thought that might have been a, a three. It's a big two. Oh, I just realized something else. Uh, Rodeo are broken right now. At least at the time that I'm recording this, you cannot lung a Rodeo. You can literally shoot through the area where there are lungs, and you don't hit lungs. What are you acting like you're alert for? How the heck are we going to do this? None of these angles are very good. I should have waited for my screenshot, but whatever. Can you sit still? That was the coolest death animation ever. Is that new? That actually looked like a brain shot animal. And he died in a spot I can see his rack. This all worked really good. Now because he's a level 2, I don't... Well, let's check his track. That can pretty much tell us everything we need to know. I did turn those off for the uh, screenshot. So, does he have any chance of beating a diamond? I think we need 32. Nah. He's a big one, but he's not anywhere near diamond. Just 30 kilos, so... Probably not 900. 211 trophy, 882 piebald to road here, though. That's pretty sweet. Straight through the brain at 15 meters exactly. All right. Well, maybe we won't get our diamond fallow or our diamond with the 30-30, but that is a pretty sweet kill. So I want to see what the hollow point bullets are going to do with a single lung hit, because we know we tried the black tail over on Layton on the live stream the day this update came out. And the soft point 243 rounds, single lung is 100% quick kill. So basically we're doing the same thing, but with the 3030s version of the same bullets and on fallows. So I just want to see if it's going to be any quicker. Because uh, the changes are basically that uh, the double lung thing that we talked about was 60% longer. That's actually not the way that they've done it, whether they've worded it differently or they actually completely redid it. Basically any hit now to an animal, it takes 8 seconds before the quick kill starts going away instead of 5 like it used to be. That is a pretty dang good opportunity to get a single lung hit. Man, if anything, that's taking longer. I don't know if that's going to be eight seconds till he dies. I mean, the good thing is we know that, and it might be a decent kind of way of paying attention to know if you made the shot or not, kind of trying to count out eight seconds, although I don't really know that I want to be doing that. It'll be close. The thing is now all animals, I think, uh, should be lined up the same. 
Because it used to be like that smaller animals, their quick kill would go way faster than larger animals. So like a moose could run for further than say a spring buck uh, before it loses the quick kill. So what do we have here? That is 85% at 58 meters. So I would say no reason at all to use the hollow points because the soft points did fine. And again, just to clarify, uh, soft points, well, actually this is displaying wrong because that is a bug. Well, okay, so I figured out where to put my mouse. Ignore my mouse, look at the bottom. It's a weird inventory bug. So the hollow points are the ones that have the better expansion, therefore the better damage. That's the ones we just used. And the soft points are the ones that have better penetration, so they're the equivalent of the polymer tips for the other rifles. So that's what we are going to stick with. And we are, I think, yeah. Gonna head up towards that lake now and see if maybe we can get rid of that fox zone and get it to be a fallow zone, because I think that would be quite useful in maybe spawning more fallow deer, because like last time I was up there, there was a bunch. I didn't even think of doing it, uh, but hopefully we can do it here in the video. Well, there's one here, which I guess is a start, but we are certainly not doing any kind of zone deletion right now. The good thing is, I mean, one hunting pressure. If we come back here, three more kills should delete the fox zone. But you saw there, I spotted him drinking, and if we go to the map, it still says Red Fox, so that's kind of annoying. Wait, there is another one. Are there more in the bushes somewhere? I am somewhat inclined to use the 338 just to make sure that dies, because he's not a gold anyway, but... I mean, surely that should be pretty doable with a 3030? Should be good. He is not dying as fast as I'd like, though. That must be single lung. Alright, that's interesting. That's not the same fallow I saw. That's a, a better one. A four, even. Now, the angle is not good, but... I mean, it's kind of all about deleting the pressure. Can I get you spotted again? Kind of want to go neck down, I think. Uh, didn't work how I wanted I think I better just kill him with the 338. Oh no, he's dying. I must have got a lung. I was hoping I could get the neck vertebrae because the way it seems right now, uh, the vertebrae around the neck still works, but the vertebrae around the spine doesn't. I need to do more testing, but we'll see if maybe we hit that and can determine for sure. So this was the first fallow. Just not enough penetration at 134 meters. I mean, Maybe if I was a little higher in the lungs, I could have caught the inside edge of this lung, but that's pretty central. Good to know, once again, if we're trying to shoot a diamond fallow, get him close range then. Alright, so... Oh, I just... I missed. Missed the vertebrae and caught a lung by accident. And he wasn't big enough for gold anyway, so I don't really feel too bad. And that was another male uh, warning call from a fallow. Now, I actually have at least, I think, three other male fallow tracks fleeing here. So, I don't know where they were hiding, but I feel like if we just kind of hang out down here and hide, eventually two should come back and we can actually get this red fox zone out of here. So, actually, we've got enough fallow here to do it for sure. There's two males coming in. Now, I'm thinking I've actually got a couple different perks I'm running where I can reload faster and I've got, like, the recoil one as well, so my follow-up shots are quicker. I'm going to try the 338 just in the interest of getting this done because he's a pathetic fallow deer and probably no one really cares to see him get shot other than zone deletion. So I'm just going to run after you because you're going to be slow. That's a hit. That's enough. Cool. All right. That should finally get rid of this fox zone that's been haunting me for forever. It is gone. So now all we got to do just in case you don't understand how this works, is go hunt the map elsewhere and delete this hunting pressure. You do that by causing hunting pressure elsewhere, which just means shooting stuff other places. And once this is basically out of tier 4, so even down to tier 3, hopefully we come back and spot a fallow here drinking, and it should then be a fallow zone. Now, the reason I'm doing that, if you're still like completely unaware of what we're doing, basically the theory is that... Oh, that's a big guy. Uh... More zones means more animals of that species. I don't know, like, how or when they spawn, but maybe it just means they're more kind of congregating in that area. I don't know. Uh, but the whole point is to get more fallow zones across the map, thus having more fallow deer and hopefully a better chance at a fallow diamond. 
this might actually be a decent new area. I don't have any zones around this lake. I decided to check it out. I'm up in, I don't know where I'm at, Spreebird? Yeah. But, I have no idea where the heck the zone might be. I have to think because they're traveling near this lake, they have a zone somewhere. I'm like backtracking at this point, trying to figure out which way they came from. I haven't seen anything big. There's like a 80, yeah, 81. But, they have to be drinking here somewhere, right? I mean, they, they trotted right by here. Oh, there we go. It's a rest zone. That's actually really good. The reason is, because we're this close to the water, I bet they will use a drink zone at some point here as well. Maybe not right now. I'm still going to check uh, kind of the border. That's even another one. There's a lot here. Uh, but I'm going to check the border of the water a bit more to see if we can get a drink zone out of it while I know they were in the area. Because, again, it's all about getting as many zones as we can here. I don't even think I'm going to shoot any out of this herd, but... I have not really used anything up in this area. I think I'm going to go check this spot, too. Ah, I don't know where that is, but I like what I'm seeing. We are starting to get something going now. I've never considered this area. And as you can see, I literally have no zones here except for the two fallow rest zones. So we might have the fields to work as normal because we are getting something going there, but up here might actually be a nice little spot because... As long as I don't pick up tracks of wrong species, we should be able to kind of nurture this into a little fallow farm. Kind of like what I'm trying to do over on Medved. So, we could actually even... Oh, this could work so well. We could kind of border everything in just the area specifically we want to work. I had some fallow tracks here too at this lake. I had no zones. I want to try that at a different time. But I think we really got something going here. So, I definitely tend to have better luck with fallow actually being at zones in the morning. I did have some tracks leaving this lake, so I wonder if maybe the zone's just too old to pick up, but I am going to come back and work this entire little region that we have again in the morning, but for now, we're going to go see if I can just kill a fallow somewhere, because I haven't really shot anything in a while. Alright, so, quick little update. Let's actually just see if we can get this guy down before I say much more. Alright. I'm actually going to do a check because I haven't shot anything forever other than a roe deer, which I forgot they don't have lungs, so I just got a flesh wound. Anyway, uh, basically an hour ago, I stopped recording and just started looking for a decent sized fallow. And the main reason I really wanted one is because I really do appreciate all of you guys who stick around to the ends of these videos. I know like these specifically are probably a little more boring than normal uh, when I don't think we shot a gold until just now. But... I really, I feel like this is going to be well worth it. Uh, for those of you that want to try these tactics, they're in a video so you can see it. And I think these should lead to much more exciting fallow hunts in the future by having a lot more spawn and hopefully a lot more big ones spawn. So, seriously guys, thank you. And at least we have a gold fallow down. If I could just find something to can check to make sure we haven't lost that. That'll work. Thing is, I need to shoot it rather specifically. In the intestines. Because Rodier don't have lungs. Oh, yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> that just scared me so bad. Oh, G-Man just got a sub while I was running around. And uh, his alert box is active in my... Uh, Call the Wild scene, apparently, which is strange. I even muted that in hopes that that wouldn't happen, but that spooked me. Anyway... We do have a gold then on 857 Fallow. I think the only gold of the hunt, so good to get one, even if it is right at the end. So again, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. I really do appreciate it, and as I said, if this works like I think it will, we are going to have a, well, a Fallow Heaven here, hopefully in just a few weeks. So we'll continue working on that and see how that goes. And again, thank you, and I will see you next time.